But down the line, you hear about it, right? You hear about the results of what's going on. And this couple, going back to the mom, they have a free and common of humor, but the child, this is my morning. This is what I actually said about Prince Harry and the son. When mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. So they gotta watch it, because the challenge number comes from her four with the two of them. And you know how that happens in a family. That, you know, the kid and the dad are having fun, and the mom's like, wait a second. So my message is, pay attention with Megan. That is a strong energy. She's a very strong personality. Interesting. Poor Tom and his name. Every time he goes and checks himself into a room, a hotel, or something, he gives his name, right? Tom Danheiser. And they always call him Dan Heiser. <laughs> That's what they think his first name is, Dan. Oh, and they somehow forget the Tom where they don't even hear it. And it's always Dan Heiser, wherever he goes. Wow. That is interesting. And you know, that makes a difference, too. When you pick a hotel room, you want it to be compatible to you. And what all... do you mean by that? How, would, how, how do you pick a compatible hotel room? I do it all the time. If they, if they give you a number that is not compatible to you, it can go wrong. So let's say you're a romantic couple. You actually go couple. through the room and, and pick I that out? Yeah, that, well, I, you know of me. What I say is, hi, uh, like, example, someone gave me a room that added up to be eight. And the shadow's not of eight, it's hard length of the cat. The last time I stayed in the room of eight, it was so loud outside, it was, I couldn't even sleep. It was so loud. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, I'm aware of that. And then one time I was in a room of five, and I told you the shadow's not of five is drama. How about I walked in and there was literally dried blood on, a pool of blood dried on the carpet. Yeah. So knowing that, I will just say, hey, can we change that number? Or, gee, do you have a different number, a different form? And I always encourage, if you're going to go on a romantic trip, you want to pick a number that is promoting that. Like the number two is romance, the six is about family. But if you're going on your own and you've got to be motivated, then a one would be good because it's promoting that ambitious side of you. So, yeah, picking hotel rooms matters on the numbers. Does the number 13 bother you at all? No, it does not bother me. Because, remember, I look at the purity of that. One, three is separate before it becomes a four. So what is one? If one promotes the ambition, three, three is communication. I do not fear it. But you know what I've learned long ago, just like 666, six, six, your belief system behind energy can promote trouble, can't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Because you're sitting there looking at fear 13 or fear 666, six, six, that plays a role in it. So you, you create the fear. Yes, you, know, you, you also are looking for it, but you, you're waiting for the signs that it's a problem. But I've never been bothered. The reason I'm not bothered by 666, when you add that up, when you just think about it, it's a nine. Nine is the, the humanitarian number, but it's also the number of completion. Well, when they talk about the devil, what was he? First he was an angel, then he was a fallen angel. Mm -hmm. And when you take that nine and knock it down, what does it look like? A six. So I don't fear it. However, at the same time, if someone said, would you move into a house that the address was 666? Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. But I you don't blame you. Works? Why? Because then you attract the people who do believe in it. Which, are, which are a lot of people. Well, more importantly, you know, we have to respect the fact there are people who enjoy sat satanic worship, for example. Well, they so like they it. love sure. the idea of 666. So you would not want to attract that energy if that's not your truth. That's 